not allow that pass to come all the way through. Yeah, really, just giving herself a one-way go there was Meg Carroll. If uh, UNH is gonna have might might need to work or work from the middle. A good takeaway there. But other uh, one slips and gives up the ball. Albany now on offense. A nice play by Gru here on the backside and is able to take it away. They battle for it here in the corner. Albany comes away with it. Now moving into the circle on the baseline, they try to send it up and it deflects around. There's a shot and a score. Into the back and Albany takes a 1-0 lead here in the first half over the Wildcats. Ben Ricewick gets ready as do the other Albany players here at the top of the circle. She sends it up, there's the set, here comes the shot, that one's into the net and a goal! Albany takes a 2-0 lead just like that off the corner. And with 16-18 remaining here in the first half, the Wildcats have some ground to make up. Benzia trying to play it towards the middle towards Geist, but it's taken away and Albany now back up with it. Cross midfield. Trying to send it to that far side, they connect into the circle. Albany with an opportunity here. There's a shot. Looks like it goes off the post. There's another shot. That one's going to go in for a goal. 3 0 Albany over the Wildcats. There's Geis. Geis with some good moves and speed bringing it in. Wildcats now into the circle. There's a pass to Flatley, and Flatley puts it in for a goal. The Wildcats get on the board with 13 minutes left. And it's a four to one game. Maybe too late for a comeback, but Lally puts it in and gives the Wildcats some life. It was good play that was initially started off by Chandler Guy. She was able to get around the two defenders, put, putting the ball into the zone. And I think it was Nurbon with the initial pass, flatly on the left-hand side, able to put it by Primus. It's good the uh, luxury of play, playing it to Megan Bozek, who had an absolute cannon of a shot. This, this year, Wildcats shoot that one in a goal. They make it four to two here late. A shot coming from the left-hand side. And that was Gianna Benzia there, who's gonna get credit for that one. Yeah, Benzia's fourth goal of the year, as I was talking, she took the ball from the outside of the arc and just put a, a, a soft little shot under, underneath the goalie. Just drip, just hopped a little bit off the initial shot and it, it looked like there could have been a deflection, but there wasn't, it just went underneath the goal. As the clock ticks down, four seconds, three, two, and one. Albany improves to 11 and two on the season and two and zero oh in the conference. UNH falls to three and 10 on the season and one and one on the conference. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with an interview with UNH coach Balducci right here on AmericaEast.tv. Back at Memorial Field now where UNH has just fallen to Albany four to two, joined once again by coach Balducci. Coach. Lost 4-2, to two, able to come back a little bit there at the end. What are your general thoughts on how your team performed today? Well, I think we played um, half of a half, pretty much. I think we still came out in the second half pretty tentative. Uh, I talked about at the halftime, I thought we were our own worst enemy. I thought our skills were very poor today. Um, and clearly against a team of that caliber, you know, you, you got to be on your A game. Uh, so I was happy that we were able to stay um, focused and still pushing. Uh, that's a compliment to Flatley and uh, some of the uh, you know upperclassmen on the team to continue to play hard and play through it because you know it's one of our conference games and you know you take care of the rest and we hope we'll meet them again.